I'm Landon Miller, this is The Brush Up, and this is what we're brushing up on today. Student elections are only two weeks out, but a new Nevada Sagebrush investigation shows that four out of five students don't care about ASUN elections. We dive into the reason why. Plus, is Coach Carter fit to lead? He's been here for five years, yet his record is less than impressive. How much longer will he lead pack basketball? Also, is it a yay or is it a nay? When it comes to the nay-nay, we talk about a new dancing phenomenon that is taking over the internet. But first joining me uh, is Alex Mosier, news editor for the Nevada Sagebrush. Thank you for joining us today. And then also uh, vice president of the ASUN, Elliot Mallon. So Alex, tell me a little bit about uh, about your story and kind of some of these demographics that uh, that you that you found out in this uh, in this investigation. Yeah, sure. So I decided to go around the Joe Crowley Student Union, and I just surveyed 50 students um, in a couple days. And what I found was that four out of five of those students, 40 out of 50, said that they didn't care about ASU elections, and that was the only question I asked them: Do you care? And four out of five said they didn't, and I think that. That says a lot <laughs> about how students feel about ASUN in general. Without a doubt. So, Elliot, when you hear numbers like that, what is your general reaction? Uh, personally, I think that it's upon us to give them a reason to care, give them the programming that they want to see. For example, we had Big Sean uh, this last year, and I think that went really well. But we can't stop there. If the students don't care, it's because they, they don't see what they're getting from their student fees from ASUN. And we have to make them care by giving them the programs that they want. Uh, to have them give them the best possible college experience uh, while here. Without a doubt, without a doubt. So, um, what was the voter rate, uh, the overall voter percentage of uh, of outcome when when students uh, when students vote for these ASUN elections? Well, I mean, you know, it goes up and up and down throughout the years. But um, last year, 2013, it was 12.8 mm -hmm. percent, and the year before that, it was exceptionally higher. It was 19 about 19 percent, but before that, it was 12 percent. So. For some reason, 2012 was a little bit higher, but what we see is about 10 to 12 percent of people that vote out of the entire undergraduate population. And Elia, let me ask you this: Do uh, is that low statistic something that you guys are concerned about? I mean, absolutely. Part of the thing is is that students need to have their voices heard. It's how we target them, how we get them to understand how elections work, uh, to get them to have their voices heard. So, for example, a lot of students don't know how to vote. Part of that is on us. We need to educate them and tell them, this is how you vote, this is when you vote, this is when the debates are, um, and these are the issues that are a uh, hot topic for you guys to understand and know. Um, so talk to me a little bit about some of the uh, of the hotter issues that, that students should pay attention to that they're not necessarily focusing on right now. Okay, so one of them is the smoke-free campus initiative, uh, tobacco-free. That is passing by the uh, upper echelon of the university. So you're looking at the President Johnson and his administration looking at passing that. You also have his, uh, President Johnson's trio of mind, body, and spirit. So the mind is the knowledge center, the body mm -hmm. being the uh, new fitness center, and the spirit being the Joe. So it's really bringing the student experience all into one place, as well as a new student achievement center. Without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, Alex, you have any questions that you uh, wish to pose to Mr. Vice President? Yeah, definitely. I mean, one thing that I found a lot when I was asking questions of these students is that when I asked them, why don't you care, they all said, most of them said, because it doesn't affect me, or I don't know how it affects me, or I think I should care about this, but I don't know why. So can you give some reasons why students should be involved in ASUN elections? Um, the ASUN budget is all student fees, so it, it's all their money. If they don't tell us what they want to see, we can't put on events that they want to see. So right now we give out, we have about $2 million in our budget uh, that comes from those student fees. And without knowing what the students want or what they want to see or the programming that they want, we don't know what to do. So we kind of just put on events. Um, one of the things that we really need is for ourselves is to go out and talk to the students. We need to introduce ourselves. The students need to know who we are. We have to be more approachable to them. All right, and that's where the conversation ends. Guys, thank you so much for uh, stopping by and talking with us. Still to, co uh, still to come, Coach Carter's contract is a little bit in limbo. We're making predictions on what may or may not be his fate coming up. All right, welcome back to The Brush Up. Joining us now is Jamie Curtis, Chris Boleyn, Editor-in-Chief of the Nevada Sage Brush, and to my right, Leo B.S., Multimedia Editor. I like that. Do it again. One, two. 
Oh! 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 Okay, so All right, that's too much. That is too much. Okay. <laughs> zip it. Okay, Chris, zip it. <laughs> Say please. It's already please. heated. Oh, no, it's wow. already heated. Oh yeah. We haven't even dived into Can't it. Can't so, wait. Um, Coach Carter, his contract is a little bit in uh, a little bit in limbo, from what I understand. Tell me about it, Leo. Okay, Landon. Okay. The guy is a great guy in the community. He's a nice guy. I like him personally. Mm-hmm. But fans demand and expect success. He's been to two NIT tournaments. One whack title, but zero big dance appearances. And mm. that's what it boils down to, Chris. All right. Let's, uh, let's cool the Jets, Stephen A. Le- <laughs> Stephen a. B. S. <laughs> <laughs> so, Leo, let's kind of like look at what Coach has done over the years. I mean, he's made these great guards, Ramon Sessions, Armand Johnson, now Deontay Burton. And now I think, honestly, he's going to have a great you know, guard pairing and Marquise Coleman and DJ Fenner next year. What he's been missing is the big men. And the year that they had two big men, Dario Hunt, Oleg Chiz, they they basically should have gone to the the big dance. You know, they lost Louisiana Tech. But in they the that way. was a snub. It was a snub. But and they did agree on that. The guy did not make adjustments during during that game when when they lost in that tournament. That's let's remember that, okay? He doesn't know how to make second half adjustments. That's one of his biggest criticisms, and that's one of my biggest criticisms. So I guess what this comes down to is, will he stay for another season or not? I mean, could he may or may not be bought Personally, out? I don't think our athletic department's going to buy out his contract. Uh, I'm pretty sure it would require $900,000. I don't see Doug Newth putting that into our budget anywhere. And also, we need to look at like where he's improved from last year entering the Mountain West, a 3-13, and 13, and now we're right here at 7-7. Seven and seven. Doug Newth even said it, and I agree with him. He's improved. I mean... We have all of our injury issues beginning in the season, but as of now, I mean, this five, that five-game losing streak was rough. Terrible. We can all agree on that. Terrible. That, was, that hurt, but I think, I think you're being a little bit rash about this. Ooh, a little bit rash. Yeah, I absolutely agree with Jamie. Um, that would be an incredible amount of turnover. You would have Gary Powers, the most tenured head coach, mm-hmm. uh, baseball leaving this year. Uh, as Jamie mentioned before, Doug Newth was the new athletic director. Uh, obviously, the biggest is Chris Hall. And if Carter left, I mean, where would the athletic department be gaining all this money and all this turnover? I mean, it would... Be a completely brand new era of Nevada, you know, Nevada athletics, absolutely. without a doubt, without a doubt. So, Leo, obviously, you disagree. I mean, is it time for a change for Nevada basketball? It's time for basketball? change in Nevada basketball. Fans will ask for his, not his I don't want to say it like that, but for his departure, his resignation. Yeah, I was gonna say something <laughs> else, but uh, I think what the fans need to do first is show up to games, Leo. I think honestly, what we need to do better. is, you know, being a Reno native. Honestly, this this town has struggled with fan support, mm-hmm. and you know, being you know hot and cold, and you know, fair weather Very fans. Fair weather. Why will they support a team that hasn't made the big dance in ten years? I wouldn't want to spend my money there. It's, it's the same thing with with Kings fans and the Maloose. They wouldn't support the team because the Maloose were the owners. In this case, they don't approve of the product on the floor. Okay, final question here. One year from now, will he be here or will he be gone? Coach Carter will be the head coach of Nevada in one year. Chris? He will be here next year. Leo. He will be gone. You think he'll be gone. All right. Still to come, the Nene. Is it here to stay, stay, or will it go away, way? We ask. We get to the that The <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today, day, we're talking about the Nene. I have to give credit to Jamie for coming up with that in the break. That was really good. Today, clever. day, thank you. Yeah, that was <laughs> really too. good, really good. Everybody, brief clap. Okay. So, what exactly is the Nene? Well, the Nene is going viral on Vine right now. Yeah. So, if you don't have Vine, you need to get it and watch this Nene. Hashtag N A E N A E. And it is this new dance that I don't know if it's going to replace like the Dougie or the Jerk. But I really enjoy seeing the ones in the locker room, the sports teams doing Show it. me your Dougie. I can't Dougie. I can jerk. Oh. What about that? What is, jer- is jerking the same as twerking? Jerking and twerking oh, are geez. very different. I'm anti-twerking. I think that's a little inappropriate. You think so? Okay. Unless it's Miley Cyrus, then it's fine. Hashtag, well, twerking. Hashtag twerking. Hashtag twerking, twerking. huh? <laughs> um, so it's kind of taking more and more, more popular popularity on the internet stuff. So, Leo, what's your favorite uh, Nene video? Uh, I think it's the one with uh, during the combine. Yeah. There's a prospect doing the nay nay behind uh, Deion Sanders. Yeah. Deion Sanders. Yeah. So I'm on Dixon showing what's up. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought he said something else there. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, my favorite one is that there's like the Minnie Mouse characters from Disney, Goofy, Minnie, and Mickey, and they're all doing the nay nay. But so you go up, and then it's like kind of just. 
Is that wave. Your arm needs to go wave. all the way up though. Like what? Like <laughs> Full extended. Oh. And you have to kind of lean back with it. Lean back with the nay nay? Now I'm getting out of the light. I have to scoot back in. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. A six foot seven white man as myself cannot do it. But um, Chris, do a nay nay for me. What is I? I'm not a big fan of the Danny. I'm, I'm a right. big fan of. Uh, what's, what's your fit? Then what do you do then? You know, I, I'm actually gonna go old school on you guys. Uh, I like the Humpty Dance by uh, Digital Underground. Wow. And I also like uh, Chris you went Cross's way old there. school. Really old school. <laughs> so the Humpty Dance. Here's your chance. You know, do the hump. Do the. Show hump. it to me. Show it to me. It's like the Nene a little bit. It's old school Nene. <laughs> We're taking it back. Uh oh. You know, Shock G would hopefully approve of my uh, no. Humpty Dance rendition. All right. Well, I guess that's it with the Nene. And that's going to be it for the uh, sagebrush brush up today. Today, got to straighten up my tie tie. And we'll see you next week on the brush up. Bye bye bye. 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 bye.